Whiskey Row continues to grow. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. And I'm Doug Profit. Tonight, Gabby Gagadis is telling us how Whiskey Alley is looking to become the newest entertainment destination in downtown Louisville. Well, when you think of Beale Street, you probably think of Memphis, Broadway in Nashville, and the French Quarter in New Orleans. A group of local business owners want to make Whiskey Alley the entertainment and cultural district in the Derby City. These are magnets for tourists. Whiskey Alley is looking to become an iconic street in Louisville. There's only one, Whiskey Row. Victorian era buildings. We have authentic history right here. Hoping to decorate what would become a popular nightlife scene along Washington Street between 1st and 2nd. We're planning to install new poles so that we can put up speakers and lights all along the block. Co-developer of Whiskey Row Val Jones says Whiskey Alley will be a place where you can find live music and entertainment. You'll feel have a feeling of there being a lit ceiling. Of course, it's not a real ceiling. Uh, it'll be open air, but you'll have this sense of place and light and activity. Um, we're planning to have some live music and some DJ special events. On several nights, the street will shut down, making the alley a pedestrian friendly atmosphere. Of course, if there's a big event or a big game at the Yum Center. In the 60s and 70s, yeah. Jones says Whiskey Row was home to a number of live music venues. Mercury Paw, The Windmill, Eddie Donaldson's, The Great Midwesterns. The new development is a nod to the district's history. It is really an authentically Louisville place, and we just want to bring it back to life. If Metro Council approves the project in February. Jones says Whiskey Alley could open as soon as this summer. Tonight, Gabriel Gattigas, WHS 11 News.